Hello ladies, gents and jilted ex-lovers hate watching me right now, we return to this Spelunky 2 speedruns nonsense. My questline percent must be improved. It cannot be double digits. That is my threshold. Wow, what a wonderful fall to the exit. It was a good 1-1. Every bit of blame is on my shoulders that, on that one. The Binding of Isaac character. I really like this entire thing, by the way, that I'm doing. I, I like it. I approve of it. I pat myself in the back for it. The entire a different character every run until I run out of characters. Eventually, this is just not going to be anymore, right? Seems like the Ujjarai has spawned in a horrendous location, but we hold that hope. And the hope was dashed forever into the rocks of despair. Anyway. Because uh, do a different character, I can open with a rant on the character or, you know, any kind of thoughts or nonsense about the character. If you're unaware of it, it's possible you're not aware that uh, there's a good hundred plus episodes of The Binding of Isaac on the channel. If you want to go back and binge the crap out of that because you had need something to put you to sleep or something. I don't know, but... Played a shitload of, of The Binding of Isaac before I started recording and then after I started recording. I think I recorded when Afterbirth came out. It was the entire purpose was to uh, explore Afterbirth together. So, you know, it's been a hot minute. It's not up to date, the latest patch. Still. Still. Whoa, damn it, I wanted to capitalize. On this son of a bitch getting punched. He's trash. Yo, 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 yo. Wanted to capitalize. Did not capitalize, I communized. That's the opposite of capitalizing, right? Exercising communism. Very weak joke, I actually apologize. <laughs> a joke between quotes, if you want to call it that. Alright. Get through. Okay, so let's remember I actually have a bunch of bombs. So I am free to open ways going down. I'm a little mad about that bit of damage that we just took. I mean, if you find a damsel next to Kelly, you're gonna put it there and get yourself a cape. I mean, like the, uh, the wimpy way that Isaac floats down. Quintessential roguelike. One of the ones that ah, started the roguelike revolution, isn't it? Uh-oh. <laughs> uh, uh, no, no. No, I should have just waited for him to get roasted. That was uh, less than optimal. It was simply the complication of the enemies around them. Make my life harder. Made my life harder on my conk limp. I said conk instead of cock. I, that was on purpose. I'm just trying to dissuade the demonetizers from striking me, you see. So anytime that I say conk, what I truly mean is penis. It's, uh, you know, we're, we're going to have to start talking in code. Anyway, my conk is at all, all time high. Thinking about getting through this level. That's just how excited I am to do harm to shopkeepers, steal all their stuff, and run away. Alrighty. There you go. Wonder if Edmund McMullen resents. Isaac and its success or it's something that he regards it as, as uh, the blessing that it actually is oh I have sticky bombs oh he's coming he said with incredible terror much like Vanessa said at the brothel when I say brothel I mean dungeon 
could use the point of damage. Actually, I'm fine. I don't need no point, no point of health. What is Edmund McMillan? Edward McMullen? Edmund McMacahon? Pretty sure that's how you pronounce that name. Wonder if Mr. Edmund resents the binding of Isaac. So often, I would probably say Harrison Ford is the most commonly cited person who resents the success of a certain endeavor. Harrison Ford hates that he's known as for Han Solo. It's just like a lesser thing, uh, not so publicized and well known, but perhaps more vitriolic. What's his name? Something McGillan, like the guy that played Obi Wan. He hated that that was his claim to fame when he was a classically trained actor and all that stuff. Oh jeez. Oh gee, but well, I have uh, made a mess of things, haven't I? I have made a real mess. What? <laughs> Please. Please. Mr. Vlad, you were supposed to teleport. Let me out of here. Teleport to the wall. I mean, at this rate, I'm just gonna kill you. At this rate, you're just gonna murder me. At this rate, we're just not gonna have the cape. Alright, just grab the kern. The, the kern. That's a word that came out of my face. Let's have this kern. Really could use a dead vampire. That would be great. There you go. This is uh, humiliating, but we're, we're still going through. Somehow. Wasted all my life. Into this endeavor. Pretty pathetic. I did send the damsel into the... Yeah, into the exit, so it's all good. Alright, the, the double uh, jump. Overrated. It's terribly overrated. Also overrated fun in the correct path in Volcana. Uh, please let me out of here. What a nightmare. What was that hitbox? I should be super dead right there. Anyway, let's get Olmec to the skip. It's gonna work out. I should be also dead. Should have been super crushed there. Alright, I don't think that's probably p properly positioned, but I'm okay with missing the spot with this particular one. Okay, fellow. Come up here. Just come, Lord. Alrighty, you might even go... Very nice face facial expression with that uh, teetering animation. Very nice. Get to the top. I get the impression that he does not, in fact, present it. Uh, he is 100% thankful for the success that Isaac has enjoyed. But it's easy to resent. Like, for example, like Spelunky being my claim to quote-unquote fame, he said while posting his uh, thousand view videos of Spelunky 2. <laughs> uh... So I, it will be easy to resent it. Oh, well, people only want to watch my Spelunky stuff. I make all kinds of things. Well, everybody wants to watch my other videos. <laughs> you don't have it. You're not entitled to your audience, you piece of trash. You baby brained imbecile. Be thankful they want to watch one of your videos. Not really, it's all. matter of perspective you get used to a certain standard of enjoyment standard of behavior I hate this I hate this what do you guys know that the chain hurts you you know the arm chain that attaches the claw to the face I never have been damaged by a claw chain it's always the claw itself when it comes back. I was just trying to not be hurt by that. And now that we're here, we're... I really... Uh, I, I require ropes, please. These are not ropes. That is the opposite of ropes. Is it the opposite of ropes? Not really. But it is something that is not a rope. 
and I resent it. Because uh, we have no real way to do the skip properly without four ropes. So, slight... So, slight miscalculation is one. What just happened? Freaking Yang... Sh what? Look. Wait. There you go. Do this. No. There you go. Oh, what am I doing? Murder. <laughs> what is this nonsense that you're indulging? I don't want this. I want the sword. Absolute buffoon. All right. So this is it. We're going to not need any extra ropes. Because we are so elite. If only I could find the exit, though, that would be fantastic. It would be awesome. Not the exit, you know what I'm talking about. The tunnel that will lead me to where I want to be! Wow. You know, some levels, they spawn nicely. Some other levels, they create a tunnel at the very top corner. <laughs> uh, this is tricky. Never done it without ropes. Never positioned the bombs properly without using ropes. It's always the first time, though. It's gonna work out. It's gonna work out. Don't you worry about a thing. I'm gonna put a rope right here. This is going to be atrocious. No, what? Explode, explode, explode. Did not explode properly. <laughs> I thought that I had rested my jetpack. If I had actually rested my jetpack, I think it would have worked out. Well, that was dumb. And I feel dumb. There was a somewhat decent way to salvage it. And I threw into the garbage! Give me a key, please. A key is necessary. It's strange. Humans always need conflict. That's the, that's the bottom line of it. And that is in a conclusion that I have reached in my head just now in the sense of I didn't uh, give you all the words that get to that conclusion. I kind of just dropped the spoilers on you. I guess we can just walk backwards on the thesis. Not like it's any kind of revolutionary thought. I hate this. I hate everything. I don't know. I don't know what exactly I was hoping. I just didn't want to spend the rope. Don't judge me. You're always judging me. You're always watching there just waiting for me to fail so you can berate me. That's what you're doing. Humans always need conflict. Because our frame of reference is constantly shifting. And uh, what used to be hardship gets resolved. And as a result, you get bored. Look at that. Oh. Okay. Yeah, we're doing this. Oh, he pissed. He's so pissed. Just keep digging down. Everything resolved. I'm just too great to be hemmed up. But this filthy dumbass weirdo. Oh. Weirdo turkey molester. What am I doing? Just chasing this cat around. Focus on what the objective is, you absolute buffoon! Achieving your goals is to achieve the death of your soul, is what I'm trying to say. If you achieve your goals, you need to set yourself new goals I thought you were. The guy from the exit, but you instead were the shopkeeper of the actual shop. I thought we had resolved your conflict. Instead, you were but a side plot. In the grand scheme of my tribulations. May you never achieve your goals. May your goals be ever be expanding. How about that? that I think that's better. I, never achieving your goals is bad. Uh, running out of goals is where the death of the soul resides. 
And you see so often, that's why actors and successful people that get uh, rich out of their minds, they're like, well, wh why am I doing this? Whatever the hell I got here. Whatever mechanism got me here, what am I doing that for? What do I do now with my life when uh, it is no longer necessary for me to make money? And I guess that's why, you know, these millionaire actors, they continue making movies because it's just what they do and what they enjoy doing. I always wonder when I was younger, like, why do these actors, like, they're obviously horrendously rich. Why do they continue making movies? Why do they continue making this job? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> not realizing that to not have an occupation is the death of the soul. And I mean soul in a secular way. The death of your spirit, your fighting spirit. The thing, the drive that makes you keep going forward and enjoying life, because life is conflict. Life is strife, and the drive to achieve a better situation than what you're in. Once that is gone, you, you stop having something to live for. Everything becomes either doom and gloom or hedonism. Why is Johnny Depp a horrendously drug-addicted person? Hedonism? I mean, that's how it starts, then you just become addicted and that's it. You know? <laughs> that's, that's the end of it. I was wondering... To, you know, you mentioned Johnny Depp because he's been in the, in the public sphere so hardcore lately. And, you know... I will not give you the 5,000th hot take on the freaking trial. Wow. I thought I was much higher than I actually was. I thought that I was not at the bottom tier there. I did not expect that the shaft was already open right below me. So that was pretty, pretty damn stupid. But I, it's, I was telling my wife... Like it is so bizarre and weird. We have you have this man who lit not literally but almost he could have chosen any woman. Most women in the let's put it this way, most women in the world would have been readily willing to be seduced by Mr. Depp. I just want your present, okay? What is it? I need to find out what is it. <laughs> All right, we got the present. He's still alive. Everything works out. It was a fun time for everybody involved. Um, most women in the world would be willing to be seduced by Mr. Death. He could have had almost any woman he so desired. And he ended up with this harpy. <laughs> it's like, how do you not... Like, how foolish can you be not to make sure, <laughs> you know, as a human being? Wow, I juked that shopkeeper so hard at the start that all my sh juking juices got depleted. I have uh, chosen the wrong path. I accept it. It's uh, such a striking irony. Such a humbling moment. Something that goes to show, like, even the wealthiest, most successful creatures of the world can be brought into a horrendous spiral of misery. Having no money will bring you horrible misery. Having all the money guarantees nothing it's silly to say money doesn't bring happiness I think it's it's just phrasing correctly money just prevents unhappiness 
Money has the potential to prevent unhappiness. Is that good enough? I don't think so. That's, that's still not the precise way to phrase it. We need to find the precise sentence that doesn't quite contradict money doesn't bring happiness. Because that doesn't, that kind of annoys you, doesn't it? Like, only the wealthy will say that. <laughs> like, uh, yeah, and of course, that's the, because they are the ones that will know that they have money. Uh oh. Uh oh. Everything's fine. Hover pack, sign me up. Well, I probably should have grabbed the hover pack before jumping down. Hover pack is such a scorned item. It is such a piece of trash when compared to all the others. What? <laughs> We're not going to comment on what just happened. We're just going to be thankful to the Lord that <laughs> we were able Please, I want my torch. Able to avoid death. Such a hilarious way. Ah! Everything. Ooh. Amazing. You did? Alright, keep going. It's all good. What with the precise I need to find out the precise way to phrase that. It's like. Because it doesn't also, it is not a precise thing to say that money prevents misery from happening. No, you can be horrendously miserable and have all the money. Case in point. Case in point, the incredibly publicized trial that's going on right now. Even when he wins. I mean, some satisfaction is to be had, I'm sure, in his shoes. I'd seen the absolute shit show that Amber Heard has become in the public eye. But even with the absolute vindication of success, there's still so much misery to be had from the entire experience. It's like you cannot possibly convince me that this entire endeavor will bring him any happiness regardless of the result. Okay, there's a lot of bombs. I would like to partake of those bombs. But I think we're done with this entire silly shopkeeper murder spree. I would like to find a freaking no Jedi cave, but no such thing. Isaac is just cursed to forever loop around these places. Ow. But anyway, we need to find it. We need to find the anti money can buy happiness. Yeah, uh, it's not right. A corollary, an addition, that's not the way. You can't just say money can buy happiness, but it helps. No, no, it needs to be a single, simple statement. In this moment of silence, I am trying to rankle my brain coming up with coming up with a simple sentence, but you, I'm playing my video game. I can't possibly regale you with a nugget of wisdom while I'm being chased by a bloodthirsty monstrosity. Only so much I can do, okay? Post it in the comments, the perfect rephrase of that saying. The perfect way to say that money is great to have, but not a guarantee that your life will not be miserable. It's just a different kind of misery. Will I always t t take the misery that comes with lots of money versus the misery that comes with zero money? Pretty sure. Would I rather be part of the royal family and have servants and all kinds of infinite... Uh, Infinite amounts of cash provided by the by the British uh, citizen. Sure. When you compare it to being a homeless, crazy person yelling at rats on the street, would I be 
a part of the royal family when you compare it to my current life right now? No, the answer is no. I would rather... I will probably rather lose three fingers than have that life. Not my thing. To be in the constant public eye is so infuriating when... Clearly, it's all the way down there, isn't it? The stupid Ujarai. Uh, when there's a jetpack, I should simply... Where is it? It's at the top here, isn't it? What a nightmare of a spawn. I'm just gonna reset with a jetpack on my back. If I find a freaking jetpack, I'm just gonna go for a simple sunken city percent. Forget about the stupid uh, quest line. How about that? Because sometimes the Ujarai... It is such a complete piece of human waste that makes me throw a jetpack in the garbage. And that is just freaking blasphemy right there. It should never be reduced to that. You find a jetpack, you forget about all your goals, go back to Hundum Percent. I don't know why I'm doing that. This crate. Like, as a speed runner, it is uh, also blasphemy. Okay, okay, we're, we're just gonna take that. There you go. Blasphemy to be stopping around grabbing crates. Foolishness, that's what it is. Here I am, get another. It's just baby's first speed run, is what it is. It's uh, not the advanced way. Of doing things. But maybe that's the way I'm supposed to play. Because, you see, I'm not very good at it. Whoa. And I will continue blaming my neurokinetics to, for that. It's not practice. There's only so much I can do. This is something I don't understand. About the tractors of eugenics. <laughs> this the sentence is, uh, cracks me up. Let's, let me defend something horrible, okay? Eugenics sounds to me like a very sound practice for civilizations to advance. Sure. It's perhaps a little dystopian and uh, horrendous where human values are concerned. But what of the benefits? I was listening to a critique of idiocracy the other day. They were making such a fuss about eugenics, it's like... But it's funny, though. Like... Taking idiocracy, like... It's, uh... Promoting eugenics as the... The way forward into the future is like... It's a joke. It's... They're just... It's just a funny thing to say. <laughs> and it rings true. Here's the thing about eugenics. Do we not engage in eugenics simply because it's morally reprehensible? Or is it simply this... What, what, what just happened? I just wanted to get onto the ledge and it did not happen. I don't understand that. Or is it simply... Or is it just disproven? I know that the smartest person can come out of the stupidest loins, right? Pretty sure that is a thing. But doesn't it increase the chance of good human specimens coming out of good human loins? I actually have never looked this up. I really should look that up. But will it be mired in anti-eugenics propaganda? Am I sounding like a Nazi right now? <laughs> Look, I'm just asking questions. That's the pursuit of science. You can't just balk at the questions. You balk Oh, oh! You balk at actions being taken. But these questions may have good merit. And it will be nice to know one way or another. I'm not saying that I will uh, single handedly go and make sure that society adopts the things that I want to, society to adopt. Fantastic things for um, Rat Face to be sold, but we're in a hurry here. We're in a hurry. My apologies, Major Stupid! <laughs> <laughs> Some really cool jukes. I mean, performance has been mixed where jukes are concerned. 
Very good shopkeeper interactions today, though. Get wrecked. Oh, yeah. Oh. So I'm gonna have forgotten. It's almost faster to go for the cave. Let's go for the cave. Is it faster? Absolutely not. But I uh, committed to this path. I'm going to do it. Doesn't it not increase the chance of having smarter children if both the parents have high intelligence? Hard to measure intelligence, I understand. But come on, there's some real dollars out in the world. You cannot tell me every human being is equal where that is concerned. Equal in the... Ow. Yes, equal in the eyes of the law. Equals for human rights. Everybody, every human is deserving of equal treatment. Humans ain't all equal to each other, though. <laughs> anyway, bottom line is, I'm just asking this question. Is eugenics actually disproven? Or is it just something that is just morally reprehensible and it is reviled? Because the Nazis did it. <laughs> anyway. The, uh, let's just leave it at that. Let's just not explore that further, even though... Uh, uh, part of the reason I'm thinking about that is because I just got done with the Red Rising trilogy. What an incredible, really good sci-fi. It's almost sci-fantasy. Uh, how removed it is from reality. But it's still such a great time. The Red Rising series. If you have never read it, and you have sensibilities for sci-fi or even just fantasy, they're interchangeable in my mind. If you enjoy fantasy, you also have very good grounds to enjoy fa uh, science fiction. Because most science fiction is just fantasy in the future, you know? Fantasy in a future setting, where technology takes the role of fantasy. Nothing groundbreaking being said here. I think it's a pretty accepted uh, general position. Wow. Some bizarre uh, configuration of Mole Man's Lair. Oh man, 30 minutes already, but I haven't even told you about my experience with Red Rising, which is that uh, you should definitely read it. It's it's an excellent page turner. Page turner. Sometimes, like the writing, sometimes spotty. It's let's call it inconsistent, because there's some really good quotes in Red Rising. Fantastic piece of writing, and especially the third book, the writing gets even better. Uh, I will never call it bad. Let's just call it inconsistent. I think inconsistent is the way to to say it. But it's consistently good. Sometimes may make you uh, not even cringe. Just like, eh, I, I, I could imagine a better sentence to express what you said. Said, but most of the time, very serviceable prose. Anyway, that's something that I care about a lot. But I understand a lot of people don't really give a crap about that. Unless it's absolutely god awful. My goodness, this place. This lava land was a place of nightmares, is what it was. So, 33 minutes, let's make this the last. So, 33 minutes, let's make this the last. This is gonna be the last adventure that we do with our friend Isaac. Okay. Not happy with. This 1-1, one one, but a beautiful interaction of elements. Haven't even seen freaking... Whatchamacallit? What Neo-Babylon today. Absolutely pathetic. But hey, we got the Ujarai. Good Ujarai. We're going to carry on forward. Good stuff, but... Let's just uh, not piss off shopkeepers and just carry on with life. What did I say about pissing off shopkeepers? I said, let's just kill them all. Grab the good stuff. I did not expect the exit. I thought there would be a platform to travel upon. Whoa. What? I was holding down the jump button, but instead of jumping off the ladder, I teleported down. Because... That's the way the telepack works. 
All right, how about this time I just don't grab a death pack and simply go for the game all the way to the exit, okay? We can do this. We are capable of beating this game. What? Has anybody ever come up with an answer for why does that move exist? Because I've never really understood it. The entire whipping off a ledge and it pushes you off the ledge. It is a confusing thing to have. I don't think any of the pros, any of the big spelunky super big names ever appreciated that move. It's like, oh man, this move, it really saves me uh, half a fraction of a second when the double dragon entrance happens. No. Nobody has ever been like that. Everybody's like, this move is pointless. Why does it exist? It screws me up sometimes when I don't make the very precise button presses that I'm supposed to make. So, there you have it. My very hot take on the foolish whip yourself off a ledge move. Let's get me out. Of course, Mole Man is in the wrong position. Cannot be any other way. Get yourself to all the way here. Just come, Lord. Hasha! Kind of want this bit of, bit of health. We're going to have climbing gloves. Please be dead. Please be dead. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. Volcano, here we come. It's all right. It's all right. A trippinator will... I mean, Vigo will take it. Yippla. Move all the way to the bottom. Stop talking about nonsense. I've made my opinion clear on all kinds of morally objectionable, objectionable things. Let us focus 100% on the gameplay for this remainder. The remainder of this run, okay? No more discussion of excellent book series. No more nonsense. Just dealing with Spelunky Troubles. There's no drill here, so we gotta just keep going. There we are. Oh, a nightmare of a robot. You too. Off we go. Of course, there's a shopkeeper in the middle. I refuse. I refuse to be... No! No! I should be dead. Just put it down. <laughs> Don't do it. Hey, I clean, I clean drill. Nice silver lining. Very nice. Was not expecting a clean silver drill. I mean, a clean drill. Right on. Where did silver drill come from? Why? Why silver drill? I'm trying to figure out. Why would that, that word come out of my face? Silver drill. Nice, clean drill. I don't know. Hard to say, but... Ow. I'm a little mad. How about the damage being taken by stupid vampires? There you go. Do -do 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 -do. There you are. No, no, stop thinking. About red rising, oh, how good it is. Stop thinking about other topics. We are concentrating on an Omic kill. Lord knows I need the help for my stupidity. Always comes back to haunt me. No matter how many times I've done this, no, many, no matter how solidly entrenched in the folds of my brain this method is I'm still gonna mess it up if I get distracted Isaac doing his calisthenics look at him look at him jumping make doing that exercise yeah oh you all right dig down Olmec make me proud 
Oh. Is that close enough to the wall? It helps. Woo, a little too close. It helps to get the explosion, not have the other uh, heli on the other side. Somehow, I still make it tense. It's so silly. Like, it's the easiest part of any run. Still make it tense to kill Olmec. I'll never not resent it. Actually, the Olmec fight is fine. It's kind of annoying to do it often for speedruns. But from a perspective of somebody that just wants to finish the game, oh, the Olmec fight is very good. It's nicely designed. Keeps you on your toes a bit, but, you know, there's a method to the madness, so you don't really resent it. Randomization is controllable and all that stuff. It's good. Good job, Derek. You, I knew that you were extremely, extremely concerned about my approval. But you have it. I like, you appreciate it. I was like, I want this hamster. Hamster. What you're selling? A machete? Only the most deranged psychopath would go for that. Fortunately, I do fit the description, but I'm in a hurry. Okay, let's just let it get to the bottom. Only four bombs. I don't think we're doing the skip. I hate you so much. I hate the fact that you actually hit me. What the freaking hell, man? <laughs> so annoying. So infuriating. I blame... The ink. It wasn't me. It was the ink. Alright, we have four bombs. It will, yes, it will leave us to with zero. For the rest of the run. Look at this absolutely cursed tide pool. There was a comment validating me and i agree i've been stuck with the most cursed tide pools of all time some of these tide pools are just a nightmare supposed to be one of the easier parts of any run it's a freaking monstrosity i hate everything about this there it is Oh, nice. There's a there's an opening. All right, we're putting the sword there because I don't trust my. Actually, I need to trust myself. We're gonna do a quadruple bomb. Hmm. The only way, die. <laughs> no reason. I just wanted to share my pain a little bit. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. My rate of success with that. It really tells me that it is way more forgiving than I give it any credit. Let's go this side. Fortunate. Fortunate. It was a gamble. It's basically a coin flip. To pick the right side of where to go. One thing I like about having the climbing gloves is... Uh, you get to do this. Just, I mean... Ropes are not terribly valuable in this run, but... Let's put it this way. I am so bad that climbing gloves are not a problem in my speedruns. <laughs> They're actually a solution. There. Could definitely use the health. We actually have spike shoes, so we can just travel all the way down, baby. Alright, please. Ice cave so damn close. I got no banter. I got no banter. It's all just progress to the exit. I have 15 ropes. Should have definitely used one to make this easier. All right. Stupid elevator. Piece of garbage. Move, 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 move. move. You go down. You go back up. You go back down. Picking this side. Did I get lucky? Somewhat. My sword. I don't need it. We'll be uh, picking up the Ushakti. Beautiful pile of money. If you don't pick up that pile of money, you just have no soul. 
I covet. I must have. Simple Onyx Unk. Aw, oh, smiling piece of trash. What are you smiling about? How much of a delay you are? Simple Onyx Unk. As always. Yeah, yeah, nope. There's so much Onyx there. That's a cracked Onyx. Why do you hate me? That's a tall Unk. There it is. Jeebus. Jeebus! Come on. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. Three bombs is not optimal. We can make it work, though. Wow, wow, wow. No. Please exit. Oh. Alright, find the way through. Yeah! Mistakes, mistakes are made. Don't kill my idiot! Neo Babylon is definitely the place where just no banter. No banter at all. No nonsense narratives. Just go forth. We got a very good Neo Babylon, though. Can't complain at all. I think one of the levels was kind of tricky. Most of them were very straightforward. I appreciate it. Can't believe we're already at the 11 minute mark. I did uh, die stupidly. I did waste some time in places. We're doing pretty well. Got to that sunken city, baby. 46 minutes though. I really don't like it taking this long. I couldn't stop though. I couldn't just leave it a complete failure. I'm not just producing content and just fill up 30 minutes and that's it. No, I'm invested. I must at least get something out of this to a reasonable degree. Get me out of here. Okay. Isaac. You must get to the exit. Four points of health. Wow. <laughs> what a great path that I just followed. Amazing. Just ignore. Can't use the bomb. We're gonna have to just spike shoot the crap out of Hundun. Hopefully, we find a nice open place. Whoop. Find a nice open place. This is not the way. How did I miss the way? Ah, the tube. Just did not notice it. Alright. Please, no exit. Of course, we're gonna use that bomb. Definitely don't need it. If there's something I can spare, it's a billion ropes. Little resentful about this entire thing. Why? Is this a dead end? How does that even happen, man? Was there a way to recognize the shape of the level and know that was a de total dead end? I shouldn't go that way? I don't know, but I'm pretty mad. Please, get me out of here! <laughs> 